7.53. Stamsy and Jake here on the All-Star Brokey Show. Foxtel, it's now available on tea boxes from Intelstra Store, Warrigal, Tarogan and Sale. And you'd have to agree, Lauren Eagle would have to be one of the fittest women oh. in Australia. Yep. Going into the bouts, you need to be not only physically prepared, but mentally prepared as well. So I think it's great she's jumped on board to say, Oi, men, look after your basic health. Blokes. <laughs> Listen up. <laughs> Listen up. Uh, it's Blue September all this month, of course, being September. Facing up to cancer in men. Lauren joins us on the line as an ambassador. G'day, Lauren. How are you? I'm good. How are you guys? Good, thanks. Now, the last time we spoke to you was just before your WBF super featherweight bout. I hope I got that right and did my Google. You did. My did. Google on. Now, where is the belt? Because I know whenever I did something that impressed mum and dad, it'd go on the fridge. And clearly, you can't put a belt on the fridge. No, it's a bit heavy. Uh, I went straight to the pool room, actually, that one. <laughs> in the pool room, up on the wall. <laughs> that is incredible. Now, I also read that you are prepared to do one fight a month. You want to train, you want to train yeah. hard. Have you now had a taste for it and go, you know what, I'm a winner and damn it, I want to win? Oh, yeah, a little bit. I'm very very much addicted. I had uh, another fight actually just on Friday in Melbourne, so mm. that was good. And then um, I've got another one at the end of October and then every month until December. Then I'll probably have a bit of time off because it takes a lot out of you. It really drains you physically and mentally. So over Christmas, I might uh, have a couple of drinks and relax. <laughs> Are you going for the world record of being punched in the head the most times in a year? Because I reckon you'll get there. No, my defence is too good and I don't want any brain damage, so no. <laughs> <laughs> now, you are on board with uh, Blue September. Yes. Now, as a female face for mm. a male cause, why did you mm. sign up other than having a whole heap of fun with blue paint and just getting it everywhere? <laughs> I know, it was fun. Look, I think um, a lot of the males get behind the breast cancer uh, and it's a really big thing for the, the females. So I think it's really important that us females also get behind uh, this cause because it's uh, raising awareness for cancer in men, which mm. is it's a very, it's a crucial issue. And uh, Blue September is all about raising money uh, online. You can make your own fundraising page and go online to blueseptember.org.au and donate. Um, and I think it's just, it's really important that we both support each other, males or females and vice versa. Yeah, and I think the best thing is for, for women to support their partners and push Correct. their partners into going to get checkups. And I think yeah. we need a new slogan for this because you are a boxer and, and a world champion boxer. So <laughs> maybe the new slogan could be, Go and get a checkup, or I'll punch you in the face. <laughs> I think, yep, you heard it straight away at Star of M. <laughs> that <laughs> is the new slogan. Yeah, go and get a checkup, or Lauren Eagle will break yeah. your nose. Maybe not rush out and get Jake as your PR manager for that. Um. Yeah. Oh, no, I think it's funny. Go and get a checkup, or. Uh, I'll KO you. Because, <laughs> <laughs> of go. course, stats are coming through. What we don't realise is one in two men will be diagnosed with cancer by age 85, mm. and more men than women actually are diagnosed every year. So, you know, obviously mm. these stats are alarming. Is this why we need to, you know, make a campaign like Blue September even bigger? Because, obviously, it's, you know, it's it's getting through to the keeper, so to speak. Yeah, it is, and it's, it's the statistics, like you said, are extremely high, and that's why Blue September is important because it raises money for cancer research. So, so we can come up with you know better solutions for it. Um, and like you said, you know, the female partners really have to get involved and get behind them because let's face it, males can be a little bit complacent and a mm. bit lazy sometimes. So, yep. a little put up the bum by their partners would really do the trick. <laughs> so you heard it here first. Lauren Eagle says you're allowed to nag your partner. Make yep. sure he goes and gets <laughs> checked this yep. month, or you'll get KO. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Blue September, it's facing up to cancer in men. Uh, jump onto the website, raise some money, blueseptember.org.au. Good luck getting punched in the head over the next year, Lauren, and we'll speak to you again soon. Thanks, mate. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Thanks, Lauren. 7.58, you're on start. Keep listening to hear all this on the All-Star Breakfast Show.